The advantages of a dishwasher can't be overemphasized. It takes away the monotonous work of washing your plates and other kitchen utensils with your hands. It also saves time, money, water, and is the most hygienic way to do dishes. You are sure only a few dishes get broken in the dishwasher. We are forever grateful to the inventor who thought it wise to build the machine that washes so well and makes dishwashing a simple task after all. First Invention Attempt Due to the need to produce the machine that can wash dishes and the ever-evolving ideas inventors had during this time, Joel Houghton produced a machine made with wood that washes dishes in the year 1850. This machine was the first attempt at making a dishwasher, but it wasn't the best of the invention. It used a wheel that was manually turned with hands to sprinkle water on dirty dishes. Joel Houghton got his patent for this work, but more work still had to be done to get a perfect design. Second Invention Attempt Using Houghton's model, L.A. Alexander developed dishwater that spin-racked dishes through a vat of water using a geared mechanism in the year 1860. Just like Houghton's model, this model had its shortcomings and so wasn't useful. The inventor of the first workable automatic dishwasher that is the mother of the modern-day dishwasher was Josephine Garris Cochran in the year 1886. She didn't like the traditional method of washing dishes with hands as it had a toll on her. Cochrane was said to have lots of china and had a lot of people coming to her house to party. She later realized that the regular washing of her dishes by her maids damaged them in the process. So, she was determined to make a machine that could wash dishes. She built this machine at the shed behind her house and called it Cochrane Dishwasher. She got a patent for her work on the 28th of December 1886. Biography. Josephine Garris Cochran was born on the 8th of March 1839 to father, John Garris, and mother whose name was Irene Fitch Garris in Ashtabula County, Ohio. Her grandfather was John Fitch the inventor of the steamboat. She later moved to Shelbyville, Illinois to live with her elder sister, Irene Garris Ransom. Josephine Cochran got married to William Cochran a wealthy businessman on 13 October 1858 and lived in Shelbyville, Illinois. Together they had two children, Hallie Cochran who died at age two and Catherine Cochran. She shared her ideas of building a dishwasher with her friend, George Butters a mechanic. And they both produced her first dishwasher. He later became one of her first employees. She formed the Garris Cochran Dishwasher Manufacturing Company. Josephine Garris Cochran died on 13 August 1913 and was buried in Shelbyville, Illinois. In the year 2006, Cochran was initiated into the National Inventors Hall of Fame. Cochran's dishwasher was an improved version of the earliest invention. Firstly, she measured the dishes and all kitchen utensils and built wire compartments for each item to hold them safely during spinning. The compartments were placed in a wheel that was fitted inside a copper boiler. The machine could be run mechanically or manually. It used jets of hot water from the copper boiler up towards the dirty dishes without scrubbing. Another mechanism sprayed hot water to rinse the dishes. In 1893, during the World's Columbian Exposition held in Chicago, she unveiled her model and got visitors amazed at the functionality of this machine that relied solely on water pressure. Parts of Cochrane's Dishwasher 1. Washing Compartment This is where the dishes are loaded into a rack. She called it the grate. 2. Water Tank This is the lower part of the machine. 3. Water filter. This removes food particles from the dirty dishes to prevent it from blocking the pumps and pipes. 4. The handle. This was operated manually and had two pumps. One used to pump hot water and soap up towards the washing compartment to wash dishes and the other to pump clean water down to rinse dishes. The handle was in turn connected to the wheel. 5. The wheel. The wheel rotates the grate around during the cleaning process. At the time Cochrane unveiled her dishwashers, there was little awareness by the public so, it wasn't generally accepted. 
Only hotels, restaurant owners, and wealthy friends who saw the need to purchase this valuable machine patronized her to her dismay. Her company, the Garris Cochrane Dishwashing Manufacturing Company was incorporated into the Hobart Manufacturing Company under the brand name KitchenAid. In 1949, KitchenAid produced a dishwasher using Cochrane's model for the design. It was until the 1950s, dishwashers were now a popular household name. Plumbing was done to supply homes with hot water and it has become a globally accepted kitchen appliance to date. KitchenAid is now a part of the Whirlpool Corporation and Cochrane is regarded as the founder. Modern dishwashers are not so different from the original model produced by Cochrane. This is how they work. 1. Cold water is pumped from home supply to the dishwasher. 2. The heating element at the bottom of the machine heats the water to a very high temperature of about 86 to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Some dishwashers use hot water from the home supply instead and so do not require a heating element. 3. An electric pump located at the bottom of the machine pumps water up the machine. 4. Spray arms sprinkle hot water mixed with dish soap around the dirty dishes in the machine. 5. After the first cycle, the water goes back to the bottom of the machine and gets drained through the inbuilt drainage and another wash cycle begins. 6. In the same mechanism, warm water is pumped around the machine and the dishes are rinsed with clean water. It is drained again. Major parts of the modern dishwasher. 1. Upper rack. This rack accommodates dishes of varying sizes. It is adjustable. 2. Lower rack. This rack holds larger dishware close to the heating element. 3. Third rack. This rack holds silverware and smaller dishware. However, not all dishwasher model has this compartment. 4. Silverware basket. This is located on the lower rack or door of the dishwasher. It accommodates kitchen utensils. 5. Tines. These are extensions that can be adjusted. They hold dishware and other kitchen utensils to be washed in place during wash cycles. 6. Macerator or filter. This is the part of the dishwasher that shreds large particles of food to tiny bits. This prevents the dishwasher from becoming clogged from accumulated food debris. 7. Drain. This aids proper drainage in the dishwasher. It removes water from the tub and prevents any water from leaking out of the machine. 8. Heating element. This is a circular tube located at the bottom of the tub. The heating element is powered electrically. It heats water and regulates temperature. Also, it heats dry air for drying dishes. 9. Upper spray arm. This helps to sprinkle water on dishes located at the upper part of the machine. 10. Lower spray arm. This helps to sprinkle water on dishes located at the lower part of the machine. 11. Thermostat. This is located below the tub at the bottom of the machine. It regulates the temperature of the water. Other parts of the modern dishwasher are. The control panel is located above the door panel depending on the design. It houses the cycle selector, door latch, and timer. The pump pumps water around the machine and drains afterward. Finally, the detergent dispenser door holds the detergent for good circulation around the machine. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button below and hit the notification bell so you'll know when we post a new video. Also, drop your comment so we'll know your thought. Don't forget to check the description below for more details. And visit our website, zimdishwashers.com for more dishwasher content like this.